YTPC. Hello, this is Charlie Hibbs saying hello to you from my beautiful back porch here in Kansas City. Seeing how everybody's doing, talking to you about the tobacco of the month for September. Chuck's Choice, as I like to call it. Merida Chevelle. This is the third time making this video, so it sort of feels weird. Uh, one time I had too much, my memory was full. One time my battery went dead. And uh, so this is, I feel like I'm being redundant, but uh, Mayor de Chevelle, this is uh, F&K out of St. Louis. Uh, real fun blend, they have a bat with a hat, real nice light aromatic. Uh, really enjoy this, I haven't gotten around to some of their Lancer slices and uh, some bulk blends, but I haven't tried them, but this is excellent. All the qualities of a good English, uh, you get a lot of uh, saltiness, not saltiness, leatheriness. But when I taste the leather of a lot of keto, it just, I think it's in my brain, I taste salty. So I always imagine chewing my uh, lace on my glove you know, all summer long and I get that salty leathery taste. And it always reminds me of that and a lot of good Englishes do. When I taste that a lot of keto, for some reason I taste salt even though I know I'm not putting salt in my mouth. Yeah, that's an excellent blend. We're trying. It's a little bit pricey. I believe this is 12 a 10, but worth it. And uh, I always like to have one or two a year. Uh, nothing I would smoke every day. And then uh, last uh, weekend was a pipe show. I didn't get a chance to go on Saturday. I was so busy, but I did get a chance to go Sunday. And I wish I'd gotten 10 of these. They had a booth. They were a couple years old. They were at a real reasonable price. I only got one because I wanted to try some other things, which I tried this. I'd seen reviews of it at uh, TobaccoReviews.com uh, uh, years ago. I knew the name. I kind of knew what it was, but I, you know, obviously don't remember anything about the review. Uh, positive, negative, but it was. This had a couple years on the 10. In fact, September 2016. So I had a couple years on it. That was. Uh, very very enjoyable and just like I said a mellow flake just brown Virginia a uh, little bit of rum just nice medium mellow smoke and uh, a couple years on it really you know softened it mellowed it but this was the big one I mean I'd had the flake and I've been skeptical to try the bag even though you know the bag at some sites is a few bucks less than the 10 and I knew I loved the 10, but I never let it age. I never had it over a year, you know, maybe six, eight months, something like that. But anyway, this was obviously at least two years old, maybe more. I don't know, but boy, it hit a home run. It cooled off. When it cools off, dark fire just takes off. And a lot of Kita, uh, this is, you know, much better to my palate. And this was a home run. I've been skeptical of it because I've always, I've had some of the Ready Rub that kind of gets a bulky, taste to it I don't know how to describe it but this stuff don't worry it is just like the flake uh, or very very similar the flake has different taste profile but they're both excellent tobaccos excellent 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 I can't believe I shied away from the pouch for so long because uh, like I said I got a couple of tins and the tins are pricey you know I thought well you, you know and even that like a like this might be 12 the tens might be 14 so it's not like a night and day you know price discrepancy but uh yeah they made me real skeptical so to keep it at that this was i wish i got in 10 of them i literally wish i got in 10 of them. i was this close to getting an ashton pipe and i was debating it i want an ashton or dunhill you know some sort of high-end uh God, i got so much dirt under my now i was just working in the pond uh yeah, but this, boy, this, this, like I said, stole the show, uh, and I mean, this was really good. I opened this up first, and I mean, wham, I've been smoking basically these two for a week, and they're both, they're not going to make it through tomorrow, and uh, I've been throwing in some of this, and like I said, this is really good. This is the tobacco of the month, so this is what we're going to, I'm primarily talking about, uh, Leathery, Latakita, Smoky Latakita, Tangy Orientals, Touch of Sweet Virginia. Um, I don't think it has any real deep description. But yeah, no, this is F and K. Don't misquote me. You know what I mean. Um, yeah, this is really good, really worth having. I definitely recommend it. Uh, 
yeah, give it a try. This was a home run. It had two years age. I don't know how it tastes raw out of the tin. It might have been a little bit harsher, but I'd have to give this definitely a thumbs up with two years in the St. Bruno Flake. Uh, yeah, I want to hunt down the dude who is selling these. I don't want to name a price. I don't know if the price discrepancies might vary city to city at these shows. So I don't want to say anything because Kansas City's a pretty cheap place to live. Uh, but uh, yeah, they were a real fair price and uh, Yeah, I wish I'd have gotten ten of them. That's the only thing I regret and the only reason I didn't at the time because I knew I liked St. Bruno I mean you know, flake. I knew that was good. I figured the pouch was gonna be quite acceptable I had no problem buying one. I knew it was gonna be on the plus side of enjoyable But how good it was I could not even begin to imagine and uh, Yeah, like I said, I definitely recommend it uh, don't be intimidated by the pouch like I've seen these go on sale where the tens were still 14 and even at eight bucks Get get two get three. They're really good You know if you find them on sale because sometimes the pouches will go on sale more frequently than the tens and in fact This is uh, my Peterson and I have some F and K uh, the Merida Chevelle I don't know if you can kind of see those divots I was walking and you know, I can drop the thing and wham, and I mean, there was a piece of gravel stuck in one of those divots. It was in there so deep. I was like, holy Jesus. I mean, I dropped pipes before, but that one hit hard. I mean, it hit exceptionally hard. Pretty much knocked the tobacco out. So I'm sitting here talking to you and I got a couple of minutes. I'm, I was gonna finish this up while I was doing the video, but like I said, I was walking my dog and doing some things outside. Hey, on that note, how does everyone clean their pipe? I've seen, you know, several videos, how to, and I hate saying it in that way, like, you know, one person knows more than another. What works for one person doesn't work for another, you know, but um, what I tend to do, and this is just me while we're sitting here cleaning out the pipe, might as well discuss it. Take my cleaner out of my pouch, and of course, you know, standard. I run it through on one side, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, baby and then I flip it and I go back in yay 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 and then the center is pretty clean so I just pull and have I've seen people like oh you know use three or four cleaners I don't know I don't do that sometimes maybe if it's real wet tobacco I might use one half you know halfway through the bowl and soak up some of the moisture and then finish it off and then use the rest to clean it I'm sitting around the house, but yeah, this is uh, one of my favorite pipes. It's been through hell with me and back I think three or four years now. I don't know Before I always smoke cobs So uh, this was one of my first uh, briars That I owned I mean I smoked you know I knew some people smoked pipe game You know here try one of these briars and I just like I said I guess you know I smoked a couple tens a year So just buy a cob and kind of be done with it and now I was watching uh, Joe Rogan with uh, Steven Crowder and they were uh, smoking Seersucker by Cornell and Dill. That was kind of fun to see people like that smoking a pipe on their podcast. Even though, I mean, I disagree with both of them on some things, agree with them on some. I'm not endorsing every idea of theirs. But I, I enjoy Joe Rogan's podcast and Steven Crowder can be funny at times. Uh, but yeah, this, Odin, oh man, I cannot wait to fire a ball. I don't know if it's because it's cooled off. Uh, hope I have enough for another. I mean, seriously, I want to hunt this dude down and just get like 10 of these. These packages were so good, and I don't know how long they'd age, but boy, they were good. Um, yeah, I dropped my uh, Peterson. That's a bummer in my little pipe pouch you know like i said i got my peterson here and these are my to-go pipes they're kind of my knock around pipes keep a windscreen on the pipe i'm not using because i keep two in here usually these two because they're not necessarily my oldest but two of my older pipes and uh been dropping them. here's my uh dagner p4 love this thing love 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 it love the look love the style it's just me nice little bowl see all the dark fired in there it's um, I mean this might uh, meaning st. Bruno in general 
might pass. Uh, oh my God, what a Solani, uh, Silver Flake, the Virginian Dark Fire, that's a real good one too. And I <coughs> thought about aging a couple in a jar because they come in those crappy packages. And, uh, you know, it might be as good age, but this might have passed it. I mean, that's how good it was, a little bit of age. I mean, it just blended, had punch, good strength. I don't like a weak tobacco. I mean, I'll smoke some every now and again, like a squadron leader. I enjoy it. I enjoy the flavor. just doesn't have that punch. So, here we go. I got about a minute left. I mean, this stuff. Fire right up out of the pouch. So good, so flavorful. And, uh, you know, I gotta be honest. I, I enjoy Englishes. I smoke Englishes on the regular, but if it really comes down to it, I like Virginia's Vapors and Virginia Burleys. Uh, probably the best uh you know something like this odin solani silver flake uh solani yellow uh was it yellow flake or whatever they call it in the uh the vapor uh that thing's a home run uh tobacco is like that that's probably my favorite but but again i mean i smoke a lot of uh english's balkans however you want to say it but yeah that was really good it's rotary Again, not real familiar with it. Never seen it at a and m or, you know, never really ordered it online. But uh, definitely worth checking out. This was a home run. The Brunos was a home run. The Merida Chevelle is an excellent English. I really like it. It's uh, got a unique taste about it. I almost think it's top, but it's not like an aromatic top. I think it's just got like a little something on maybe one of the leaves that gives it a element. Uh, but, yeah, not like a true aromatic top. But uh, nonetheless, I'm getting eaten alive by our critters, and it worked 12 minutes, time flies. Uh, like I said, I just want to give my thumbs up to Merida Chevelle. Great smoke, great time of year for it, and same with the uh, other notable blends, the uh, St. Bruno and the Rotary. All excellent. Peterson Pipe Pouch, love you, buddy. Me and you been through hell together. Uh, you know, eat your own. I, I thought about getting like the wrap kind. A little bulkier but this is thin light two pipes